drinking up on my New England IPA. <laughs> um, and uh, it's tasting really good. Um, drinking it here in my Stone Berlin glass. What do you think I'm gonna talk to you guys about? Hmm? Anyways, cheers. Tasting really good. Wow. Okay, so a couple updates this week. Thank you so much for everybody's support uh, with me wanting to do more uh, videos about water. In all honesty, the first presentation uh, session uh, video I'm going to do, you know, the presentation has been done for a long time. I've been tweaking it over the course of probably the last couple months. Um, but I really sort of want to take it easy and introduce people to sort of the general concepts of, uh, you know, what water's made up of, right? Of course, atoms and ions and sort of describe those things and the reactions as they apply to pH and then also uh, alkalinity and try and describe these things in an easy way. So uh, hopefully uh, that's going to get done. I uh, just need to do the sort of uh, the, the video of course of it but the the slides are done for it so that should be coming out within the next couple of weeks also uh there was a comment by mr pierce uh who's putting out some uh, really nice videos uh you should go ahead and check them out i'll put a link down in the description he asked if i would uh, go ahead and get some rain water and test that so while i was at the cabin last weekend i went ahead and collected some of the uh, the rain water that we use to wash dishes and stuff like that while we're up there so i'll go ahead and uh give that a whirl and show you what my results are but of course you know your atmosphere your pollutants that are in uh, your area are not going to be the same that is here so i think the water is going to be a little bit different but i have been wanting to test my rain water anyways uh, from the cabin just to sort of see what i'm dealing with um, it should be an interesting experiment. Um, right, uh, let's see. Oh, I got some hops. Now, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I listen to uh, the Brewing Network quite a bit. You know, like the uh, the session, uh, Brew Strong, and uh, of course now the Sour Hour. So I hear a lot about these hops from South Africa. And we actually just got three varieties here in Norway. And I went ahead and got the uh, the IPA version called Passion, Southern Passion. So these guys are the ones that uh, I guess is getting a lot of hype uh, for the IPAs in the U.S. these days, these South African hops. So, um, yeah, buying them in 100 uh, gram uh, bags just didn't seem logical. So I went ahead and, of course, invested in a kilo. Looking forward to uh, putting these into a smash and uh, then trying to figure out how and what to combine them with uh, later. So I should have enough to experiment with. Alright, so the main feature of uh, this Homebrew Wednesday is, well, it, it's not really homebrew related, but if you think about it, they did start off as homebrewers and uh, built, uh, what is it, the third biggest craft brewery in the United States. So way back in October of 2014 from these guys, they sent me this uh, nice little letter. They were having an Indiegogo program where uh, they were trying to raise money for building a brewery in Berlin. So Stone Brewing Company, they were offering a, a lot of different packages that you could invest in. You can get beer or uh, you can um, brew with one of the brewers for a day or something like that. And I opted out for the choice to actually go to the grand opening of the Berlin Brewery. So, uh, Greg and Steve signed this and Tony Ace is hereby recognized as a craft beer enthusiast in possession of outstandingly good taste. Well, that's, that's debatable. And who is greatly admired and appreciated by Stone Brewing Company for supporting Stone and the craft brewing revolution as a whole. Simply put, we could not do it what we're doing without people like you. So, um, yeah. This was a result of something quite unexpected. There was a video that Greg uh, made. It was a shout out to me and uh, yeah, played a huge uh, role. <laughs> it, was a, it really meant a lot to me. Let me go ahead and play a clip of that. Tony, hey, 
Loving that you're taking the American craft brewing revolution all the way to Scandinavia, to Norway. I understand that it's difficult to get our beers out that way, and when you do, it's probably expensive as hell. So you're doing a natural thing. You're making your own. And uh, I'm stoked to see that you've done a couple of our recipes, reading Mitch's book and uh, making, for instance, the Stone 10th Anniversary IPA recipe. Um, that, that brewing system you got, that is kind of a thing of beauty. That is some very, very beautiful stainless steel you got there, and it looks like you've got some great controls. And um, I like your method, and I like your methodology. So I just wanted to give you a compliment. Uh, I know that next time I'm in Norway, I'm going to want to taste some of your home brews because, I don't know, I can't exactly taste them through the screen. They look pretty damn good. Cheers. So how could I not invest in their Indiegogo program and go to Berlin and meet these guys? So um, if everything works out, when you're watching this video on Wednesday, I'm actually at Stone Brewing Company on Wednesday, shaking Greg and Steve's hand. So hopefully, I know Greg should be there. Hopefully Steve will be there as well and a plethora of other uh, people in the industry. Um, and I look forward to uh, saying cheers with them. So hopefully I'll have some footage from that uh, to be able to share next week. And uh, wow. So in addition to them sending me their certificate, again, that was back in October of 2014 when the Indiegogo program uh, was launched. And I knew it was gonna be at least a year and a half before the brewery was open. So it was sort of a long-term investment. And um, in goodwill, uh, they sent us, so I got two glasses like this, and uh, also a t-shirt that they sent. Of course, back then, when I ordered this t-shirt, I was a little bit bigger. So, you know, I ordered the extra large. And now I just float in this thing, so I can't even use it anymore. So while I'm down there, I'll have to go into the, uh, the shop and buy some updated t-shirts that will actually fit. Oh, and I almost forgot to show you. They sent me this in the mail. A proper invitation. I haven't even cracked the seal yet. But you can kind of see if you open it up. It'll tell you. That's my name. And, uh, yeah, welcome. Me plus one. Uh, so, yeah. Me and a friend is going there. Gonna have a great time. So that's it guys, that's all I got going on for uh, this Homebrew Wednesday. I hope to be able to uh, share more of my uh, experience at Stone Berlin with you next week. And uh, look forward to those water videos coming out pretty soon. Cheers. Have a great week and a better weekend. Cheers.